Fontaine's Serenity Pot theme has finally released. I bet it'll totally incorporate the cool swimming mechanics. I mean, just look at it. We're underwater. It has to. You cannot be serious. Barriers. In my Serenity Pot. Well, I don't think I've ever let a barrier stop me before. So, out we go. Little did I know at the time that the barrier around the Serenity Pot was sealing away a horrific truth. A new type of obstacle the game had, until this point, not seen. I won't keep you in suspense because it's literally the first thing I tried. What lies beyond the surface of the water? It's a long way up. How far have I gone? Yeah, it's really up there. Is that a Paimon barrier? No, it's a Paimon ceiling. This is nightmare fuel. I wish I'd never come out here. And sure, let's add one more abomination to the list. A Paimon floor. What is happening? It's so glitchy. I can't move and Paimon can't move me either. For some reason, I'm able to open photo mode while out here via the menu. But if I try to do it with the shortcut wheel, it doesn't work. This is wonky. And there's the Void Out Zone. Alright, enough with me testing and glitching stuff for a moment. Let's take a look at what's actually out here. Here's another odd find. If I open the menu at the right moment, Charlotte will... Do whatever that is. Got one more thing I can try to push farther outwards. If I swim all the way up to the top and launch myself out of the water... Looks like this is as far as we go. Using photo mode, this position can be held and we're able to see beyond the confines of the map. Not much more out there. Anyways, just wanted to make a quick video to share this interesting find. If you want to go exploring for yourself out here, it's really simple. All you need to do is stand near one of those jet streams that carry you between sections. Disconnect your device from the internet, run into the water and wait until you're at least halfway to the next section, then open the Paimon menu. You'll see your character carried away with Paimon in tow. Wait just a few more seconds, then reconnect your internet. If done correctly, you'll get a loading screen within a few seconds that'll place you in the water outside the map, where you can also feel the terror of a Paimon barrier that's a complete sphere. Yes. Let's call it the Paimon Sphere, and hope it never rears its ugly head again. This is Musashi, signing off. Till next time.